What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan and in this video we're going to be talking about all the reasons why I sold my Porsche GT3 RS. It says us only once. In Germany we say Porsche. Or Porsche for those of you out there that you know really care about that stuff and why I decided to keep my 720S instead of that car. Ultimately it all comes down to the fact that I posted this on my Instagram multiple times and I still have people messaging me saying hey man what happened to your green Porsche? What's up with your green car? I never see you with that green car. I even put a poll on my Instagram story asking if they were aware that I sold the car and 70% of the people said that they weren't aware. So I figure I'll just make a video explaining why I sold it and just letting people know that I sold it. And we're going to cover all the financial reasons, all the emotional reasons, and I guess all the life reasons in general as to why I decided to sell the car and why I decided to keep the 720S instead of the GT3 RS. It all just comes down to the fact that the hot, the hot market, the used car market is hot, but I guess the hot market can be hot too as well. So many used cars have gone up lately. The used car market is just so hot. I guess the hot market is hot as well. But the point is so many used cars have gone up lately that I would, I probably would have been a little bit upset at myself or I would have felt a little bit disrespectful if I didn't lock in some of the action here and lock in some of the profits. All used cars have gone up lately, but especially these kinds. I know that nobody really ever wants to sell one of their cars unless they have like, you know, some kind of a business opportunity or investment opportunity lined up that they can put that money into. But my point is no one really ever wants to sell one of their cars. I just felt like I would have been upset at myself, would have felt a little disrespectful if I didn't at least lock some in just in case of a correction or a crash or, I mean, again, just in general, it seems like a once in a lifetime type of phenomenon that's going on with these cars and this car market. So I just felt like I would have been a little upset at myself if I didn't at least sell something and lock in some of the action here. So with that said, I only have so many cars that I could pick from that don't have some sort of sentimental value. And that basically left me with either the GT3 RS or the 720S. So now I feel like I have to explain myself as to why I decided to let go of the GT3 RS instead of the 720S, especially since I'm the type of person that's always telling people to be smart with their money, evaluate their decisions before they make the decision, and always choose the more financially smarter one. Since I'm always ranting and raving about being smart with your money, I figure I might as well explain why I decided to keep, I guess, the less smart decision, financially speaking. And I'd like to think that the reason is ultimately just because of the fact that I wanted to be happy. And I know that's gonna sound really weird to some people that this guy over here is talking about, oh, GT3 RS, 720S, LMNOP, QRS, TUV, and now he's saying that he just wants to be happy? Like, what is going on here? Allow me to explain a little bit. The way that I've navigated in life is that I always make decisions based on a financial standpoint. So if I ever went out to eat or went out to dinner back in the day, I wouldn't pick what I wanted. I would pick the cheapest thing on the menu. Same thing with like cars or just life in general. I wouldn't always pick what I wanted. I would always pick what's the better financial decision. You see, I've gone through my life always trying to turn one into two, two into four, four into eight, and I figured that this time, it's okay to reward myself and do something that would make me happy instead of doing something that would be the better financial outcome, I guess would be the way to say it. That's why I decided that the 720S is probably something that I like more rather than the GT3 RS and I decided it's okay to treat yourself. You know, in my scenario where you'd go out to dinner and maybe order the cheapest thing, I don't know if this maybe relates to somebody or resonates with somebody, but if you're the same type of person that, you know, you go out to eat, you go out to dinner, you might order based on what's the cheapest. You know, if you ever accomplish something really big or, you know, something good happens, you treat yourself to a nice dinner, right? So this is my way of treating myself to a nice dinner is that I've always gone through life turning one to two, two to four, four to eight, and I said, it's okay to sit back, relax, sell the other one and keep the one that'll make you happier. And I say this because I know that the GT3 RS would have probably been the more financially smarter decision to have kept and let go of the 720S because of the fact that the 720 will probably depreciate more, will have more problems that'll need to be repaired and all of that. And also the fact that it's not a limited type of a vehicle, but I don't wanna bore you guys with all of those details here now. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that the 720S is a bad car or a bad financial decision or anything like that by any means. I love the 720S, it's great, and I also love the GT3 RS. There, there's nothing wrong with any of them. Is that a leak? Financial decisions, you see? I love them both. But if I had to pick one, I would definitely say that the 720S is a little bit more of like a, hey, how you doing type of a car, which 
is what I like. I figured maybe what I can do is lock in the profit on the GT3 RS. And thankfully, I got the 720S for a good price before all these stocks. I'm a stock trader, I apologize guys. I got the 720S before it went up in value or before this craziness started happening. So I'm thinking maybe I'll take the profit from the GT3 RS and put that aside to kind of make up and balance out the depreciation or any issues I might have with the 720S. And again, thankfully I got the 720S before all these prices started going up and things started to get crazy. So I am a little bit in the positive on the 720S as well, which leaves me a little bit more room for depreciation as well. The other reason why I decided to let go of the GT3 RS instead of the 720S is because of the fact that it would honestly just sit there. I don't know if it's because I found myself liking the 720S, maybe it's because the doors go up and it's got all the vroom vrooms and the whoosh whoosh with all the turbos, but I honestly would only drive the GT3 RS to go to the mountains. I remember I even put a story on my Instagram that said something like, man, I only find myself driving this thing just to go to the mountains. I think ever since I got the McLaren, I've only driven this car to go to the mountains and that's it. It made me feel like an old man. It was a good problem to have, but either way, I'm just, you know, referencing the idea that I would only drive it to go to the mountains or just to keep it alive. But I didn't find myself driving it that much. So I figured since that was the one that was sitting more, I might as well decide for that to be the one that'll go and keep the one that I drive more. Again, I just maybe just like the 720S more. So I figured if I'm not giving it the proper, if I'm not using it at all, and when I do use it, I'm not giving it the proper use because it was a race car, you know, it was a race car made for the racetrack and I wasn't taking it to the racetrack and I know this is also made for a racetrack as well but this one's a little bit more of a, a street friendly type of a car more of an appealing I guess if you will and I just found myself driving the 720s way more to the point that the gt3 rs would just sit there and ultimately that's why i sold my gt3 rs and why i sold my gt3 rs instead of my 720s it all had to do with just you know the timing of the market making me want to sell things the fact that i always would make decisions based on what's a better financial outcome instead of making decisions based on what makes me happy and i decided it's finally time to do something that makes me happy and ultimately just because of the fact that I didn't really drive the GT3 RS as much as I would like to and as much as I should have. Before I got the 720S, yes, I was all wild about the GT3 RS, but once I got that 720S, I found myself just driving that one more, leaving the GT3 RS aside. But again, there's nothing wrong with the GT3 RS. I loved that car, and if the market permits, who knows, I might end up with another one at some point. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an insight on you know, my life, maybe how I think, and also give an update for those of you that keep asking me on social media and Instagram and all that about, hey, what happened to your green Porsche, or green Porsche, for those of you that, you know, a little on edge about that. Good, I don't get this wrong again. Uh, but anyways, I hopefully, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video, that's first, but hopefully you can subscribe and like and all of that because it helps the channel out. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Just have a great rest of your day, great rest of your night, depending on where you are, and just have a great rest of your life. I'll talk to you soon.